Good morning. Uh, my name is Jennifer Lopez and I'm the proud CEO of Carmen Schools of Science and Technology. I hope that this video finds you and your family well and safe um, and that you're finding creative ways to enjoy this beautiful summer weather while social distancing, of course. Please know that we miss you all dearly. And um, I just want to take this time today to, to give you a quick update. So since March, Carmen continues to monitor the developments locally at the state level and nationally uh, to determine how to safely reopen this fall. We've also connected um, with local um, uh, health department uh, and health commissioners to be able to, again, uh, determine how to safely reopen this fall. As you know, we are trying to solve a <laughs> unprecedented in our lifetimes, once in a century problem of opening schools via through in a, in a global pandemic. And I absolutely share your concerns about the current state of coronavirus. And I continue to hold the safety of our students, our families, and our staff front and center, while also ensuring that we can continue to drive for academic excellence and fulfilling our mission and our promise to you all that we are uh, preparing our students for college and careers, community involvement, and family life. I do wanna provide an update in regards to um, data points that are important to, to highlight um, at the state level and locally as well. So in the state of Wisconsin, we have seen a pretty dramatic increase over the last month of positive confirmed cases. So let's take a moment to think, consider this for uh, a moment. In the month of June, uh, you know, the June four, uh, 14th average, and that, that av monthly average, there was seen about a 240 new cases a day. Now, a month later, the average in the month of July, as of July 14th, we were seeing an average of 764 new cases a day. Again, moving from one month to another, 240 cases a day to now 764 cases a day. We have also seen that this virus disproportionately impacts our black and brown communities with 27% of confirmed cases coming from the Latino uh, Hispanic community. Well, the Hispanic Latino community only make up 6.7% of the population in the state. We also see that 16% of confirmed cases from, our, from the African American population well, the African American um, African Americans only make up 7.1 percent of the population. The city of Milwaukee uh, makes up about a third of those positive cases for the state of Wisconsin. So, when we're looking at um, the data locally, we're, what what we found is that um, Latino Hispanics infection rates are increasing um, to about 40 to 50 cases per day and the infection rate is about the, above a 30%. Similarly, we're seeing a sharp increase in the African-American population. Uh, the cases from last week uh, uh, was an average of 60 additional cases per day. So comparing just last week and this week, we are seeing an increase of positive cases in the Latino community by 10%, and in the African-American community by 15%. Given the, re the reality in which we're at in terms of confirmed cases, positive cases, uh, what we were made aware of um, this past Jul uh, July 15th on Wednesday is that the Milwaukee Health Department uh, must, uh, that the city of Milwaukee must enter into a phase five in order for uh, schools to reopen. Schools cannot reopen unless we've moved into a phase five in our moving Milwaukee forward. There's some gating criteria that has to be met and they have to be all in green in order for us to move to phase five and that's reopening schools. We are currently in phase four. And from what we have heard from the Milwaukee Health Department is that we're nowhere near being at phase five at this given time, given where cases are trending. So the health department has determined that it's not safe for any student um, in Milwaukee to return to any Milwaukee school building. Until the health department declares that school buildings can reopen, Carmen will engage in distance learning. I also uh, wanna remind you that this week, the, um, there was a Milwaukee order, order number four, put into effect this week. 
And uh, in there, it states explicitly that schools um, cannot reopen at this time. I also just want to take a moment to just appreciate um, each and every one of you for completing the family survey. Uh, we greatly, greatly appreciate your input and your voice. It matters. And um, it, those responses really help us strengthen our family communication, our teaching approaches. And while the health department declared that school buildings will remain closed, your survey responses regarding concerns, needs, and access to important resources will inform uh, our systems and structures for this fall. What I've done in my email, I've shared with you all uh, a link that provides headlines from the family survey, along with a link that has the summaries from uh, the, raw, the raw data, if you're interested and curious to be able to see that as well. Um, similarly to what we did with families, we also um, surveyed our staff. And uh, that informs us as Carmen leaders of our staff wellness needs and their perceptions of distance learning. Uh, and we're able to also use their feedback to strengthen our internal and family communication, um, student instruction, and many more other structures as well. We are incredibly grateful for your flexibility and your willingness of Carmen teachers and staff members to do what we, and we will continue to educate and provide high quality education for all of our students. I have also included the survey results for, you, for your review. Please know that there's going to be more information coming soon. Um, in the next week, we'll be provided an updated calendar. Uh, we'll be provided an update in terms of distance learning plans for the fall. And um, I, we do also appreciate your feedback, any questions, concerns, or comments that you may have. My email also has a link in which you can uh, you know, share with us any uh, concerns or questions you may have at this given time. The other important thing to note as well is that at this time, uh, what we have uh, decided is to push back our, um, our when students are to return to Carmen to September 1st. And I think that that'd be important for you to be able to mark on your calendars that the first day of school officially will be uh, September 1st. Again, we'll, we're gonna continue to keep you informed. Uh, and I greatly thank you for your commitment to, to Carmen, to each other, to our families. Uh, again, I welcome any questions you may have and we will be able to, uh, we'll attempt to answer those questions in future communications. So thank you, we miss you. Um, we can't wait to be able to see you even if that is just virtually. Take care now, bye-bye.